Hi guys. Okay, I'm here with uh, with Dan Sutton, right, uh, producer, yep. right, on Red Faction Armageddon, right. So, uh, anyways, uh, just wanted to ask you a few questions about it. So, um, for one, what can you tell um, the MS Xbox World community um, about uh, about Red Faction Armageddon? And how is it different from its predecessor? Oh, absolutely. Um, one of the big things we've done is we try to enhance our destruction engine in the game. Um, destruction is the big thing about Red Faction. We want you know the user to have an experience that they can't have in other games. And what we've done is we've uh, we've enhanced our geomod system to now um, you know really accommodate a lot of really cool destructible weapons in our game. So, um, for, for example, we have the Magnet Gun in our game. That's one of our coolest weapons where basically you can throw a uh, Magnet at one target, throw a Magnet at the other target, and they'll go colliding together. Um, it's kind of cool because it's not gimmicky. You can do it on the entire world. And one of the cool things about the Magnet Gun as well is we have uh, a new system called the Nano Forge. And what Darius can do is not only tear down everything in the world, he can also rebuild it back up again. So just imagine you're in combat, you have a lot of uh, enemies coming at you. What you can do is you can fling a Magnet, uh, magnet Gun ammo at something, rebuild it back up, and use it again. Infinite ammo over and over again. It's about using the world as your destruction tool. And then on top of that, too, I mean, story. I mean, we've, we've really started to re, uh, enhance that for Red Faction Guerrilla. We kind of, or Red Faction Armageddon. We are kind of knocked in Guerrilla for that. And one of the things we've done is we have this 800-page Bible of the Red Faction universe. And we've sat down. We have this sci-fi movie that's coming out before the game comes out. And then we're actually taking, uh, we have the same writers that wrote that movie, also writing our game as well. So we have this cool continuity between this two. We've really expanded upon the universe. It sounds really, really cool. cool. I mean, the movie was a really big surprise, yeah. as a matter of fact. Um, so, what would you say would be the main inspiration um, from basically taking the Red Faction series from the surface of Mars to <laughs> underground? Um, one of the big things is, is you can do so much on Red Rock Mars before it becomes kind of boring and repetitive. Um, you know, we, what we want to do is we want to give the, the user an experience of what would happen if you go underneath the ground or underneath Mars because, you know, it's kind of undiscovered. People don't know too much about it right now. So unlike the dark sides of Mars, we've actually had these ice caves that have come up there so you can actually burrow through those and people have made their homes in there too. But also we have these lava caves. We have these cool natural rock and crystal cave formations as well that you get to explore. It's all about giving a new uh, sense of environment, a new sense of scale to Red Faction. Okay. And uh, what would you like to tell fans of Gorilla, let's say, who might be put off, mm -hmm. you know, by the fact that it actually has moved underground and is, is not as open world as, as the right. previous game was? Right. Oh, I, I think the biggest thing is, you know, we, we know what our fans like. We've heard a lot of the stuff, too, and people got kind of worried about that, too. But once again, you still fight on the surface. You actually are pushed underground, but you still have surface combat as well. It's just we've, we've taken a lot of the fun things from Gorilla, a lot of the fun things that our fans have said, and we've made these things just so much more better. I mean, I, th I think once you pick up the control and play the game, your worries will go completely to the side. So, is um, Red Faction Armageddon go still going to be an open world game, or uh, but underground, but or will it be more mission based? Uh, it's, it's a lot more mission based. It's a lot more focused in here, because we really want to tell a story and tell you about the Sorry. universe more. Sorry. Um, oh, no problem. Um, in, in Red Faction Guerrilla, we want to give them more of a scale. We went from linear to open world to kind of give them a scale of what Mars is like. Now we're kind of getting a lot more focused. We're showing you, like, hey, here's a cool story, but also, if you like the open world gameplay there too we have we still have stuff like collectibles we have a lot of really cool side things that you can do in the game as well so we don't want we don't want people to be worried about you know the fact that we've gone to linear we've forgotten about a lot of that stuff okay will they be backtracking at all or um not so much backtracking there there, there are a lot of collectibles and you have to basically tear down the world around you to gain salvage and gain your upgrades in the missions okay cool all right so um I guess some people may be wondering um, where the EDF have gone and mm -hmm. where the where the Marauders have gone. Yep. Will they be making an appearance yeah, in this game at yep. all? You'll, you'll find out what happened with the EDF with the Marauders as well. And the Marauders are back as your allies and also some of them as your enemies. Okay. All right. And have the traditional remote mines gone away? No. No. We couldn't take those things away. So we've enhanced a lot of the weapons from Red Faction Guerrilla, but we've also added kind of our, our new take on those as well. Kind of made them better. And then we've also added a lot of new weapons in the game, too, that just take, take advantage of all the cool destruction we have in the game. Right. So what kind of changes can we expect for multiplayer? For multiplayer, we can't talk too much about that right now, unfortunately. We're going to reveal that a little later on, but we definitely have multiplayer. It's, it's exciting. We've, we've played a lot of it. It's, it's really cool. We have multiple modes of that, and we'll start reviewing that soon. Okay, so it exists. It exists. All it right, exists. wonderful, wonderful. All right. Uh, so 
We got a couple of um, tough questions for you. Okay. One, what do you think um, Alec and Samanya uh, would think of their grandson? Do you think they'd approve? Oh man, um, it, it, it's very interesting because you'll actually dive into a little more of the Alec story and Samanya in uh, in the Refaction Origin series that's coming out too as well. So you got to kind of figure out what happened there. But I don't know. I mean, I think I think Darius is very misunderstood. You find across the way that he he didn't mean to betray humanity or help you know release this plague upon the surface, but he's kind of been tricked into doing that. So he's all about redemption, kind of taking over from his father. Reluctantly, but you know, taking over his footsteps to you know save humanity. All right, and um, also uh, we've noticed that Darius is featured on the poster, uh, dropping the iconic Red Faction hammer. Um, unresolved issues, maybe? Uh, yes, definitely, definitely. I mean, the, the hammer's so iconic too that we're like, we have to bring it back, our own version of it. But there are certain things that we can't ditch from the series because we absolutely love them as well as gamers. All right. Well, I think that's all the questions that we've got, uh, Dan. Um, thank you so much for your time Absolutely. today. We are really looking forward to uh, playing the game when it comes out um, later on this year. Great. Thank all you right. so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. you hear that?